After the erection of the Diocese of Chilao in 1939, the Right Reverend Dr. Edmund Pires, OMI, of revered memory, became the first Bishop of Chilao on 12th January 1940, at the time of national resurgence. He was an eminent historian, an accomplished literary scholar, and a musician of no mean stature and served the diocese for 32 years. The second Bishop of Chilao, the Right Reverend Dr. Fran Marcus Fernando, took over the reins on 27 December 1972, carved out for himself a niche in the Hall of Fame as an eloquent preacher of the Lord, a charming writer and a fearless fighter for the cause of justice. The Right Reverend Dr. Devsrita Valens Mendes, who became the third Bishop of Chilao at 48 years of age, was the youngest back then amongst the bishops who served the flock as the shepherds of 11 Catholic dioceses of Sri Lanka. Bishop Valens pursued his doctoral studies at the Urbaniana University in Rome and obtained his doctorate in philosophy in 1994. On his return, he was appointed as a Dean of Philosophy at the National Seminary. A paradigm shift in priestly formation in Sri Lanka took place in the National Seminary with the separation of philosophy and theology and Bishop Valens Mendes had the honor of becoming the first director of the newly created philosophy in October 2000. His fluency in Sinhala, English and Italian and the working knowledge of Tamil, German, French and Latin added finesse to his teaching skills even at Peradeniya University as a visiting lecturer. Bishop Valens Mendes is a veteran musician having professional skills to play bass lead and rhythm guitars added to his serious talent for singing and playing the piano his publications and compositions of hymns have attracted multitude of people not only was the bishop valens mendis youngest among bishops when he was consecrated but also the youngest rector on the 4th february 2001 the catholic bishops conference placed their trust and confidence on him once again by installing him at 42 as youngest rector in the 74 year history of the national seminary his lordship bishop valens mendis started his pastoral mission as a gentle and a merciful shepherd always with a genuine smile on his face in the diocese of chilao when bishop valens mendes began to lead the diocese as the chief shepherd there were 75 priests and today there are 145 priests serving in different parishes and pastorates during his lordship's tenure Nine new parishes were created making total number of 53 today expanding the mission of evangelization many priests were sent to Italy France and Middle East countries as chaplains and we have nine foreign chaplaincies today thanks to his lordship the missionary experience and the exposure our priests received overseas were immeasurable and invaluable always being visionary merciful and concerned his lordship provided priests with ample opportunities both local and overseas for higher studies sending total of 51 priests for studies and foreign chaplaincies as well the three european pilgrimages organized for all the priests of the diocese would certainly have left an indelible mark in the memory line of our priests the eight new convents 
and the presence of reverend sisters at kalpitiya kurinjam pitiya khatte kaduwa mannatiyu puttalam hal danduwana mudalak kuliya rajaka dalu and court pitiya srendan the pastoral and education minister in respect to parishes and at large in the diocese the sacred shrines with national significance the holy cross shrine at maravilla st anne's at talavilla and st anthony's at pallikandal were continually developed in collaboration with priests the outstanding transformation of sudasan hall the nisansal house for retired priests the counseling center at maravilla are some of his lordship's pastoral projects Bishop Valens Mendes discerned the possibilities for evangelization in the field of education. Today, there are 25 priests and about 50 nuns serving in the field of education. The standards of government schools have improved profoundly thanks to the leadership of reverend fathers and reverend sisters. Expanding further St John Paul II network of education was erected 10 years before and it has contributed immensely to empower our catholic students in excellent english language skills making future leaders based on catholic values the existing two institutes for higher education St Anthony's Institute at Chilao and St John Paul II Institute at Venapur having affiliations to theological degree programs for lay faithful cambridge english programs and many others provide our people with some of the best qualifications to excel in ecclesial missions and career prospects at most affordable rates which only church could offer the pivotal importance of providing quality and value based education which always had a space in the heart of bishop valens mendes will always be dearly remembered by people of gratitude god our heavenly father is love and merciful inspired by the nature of god to unite all in charity was the motto chosen by bishop valens mendes it indeed was realized in many ways and capacities through charity projects in the diocese in addition to diocesan scholarships programs initiated at a large scale his lordship was able to raise funds even from groups like papal reception committee and put up 60 houses at kalpitiya and named it sudupiya gama all the evils which poison men and nations and trouble so many hearts have a single cause and a single source ignorance of the truth bishop valens men is always stood for truth in charity the issues entangled even with politics in kalpiti islands pallikandal shrine fisheries issues and economic crisis of the country were addressed bravely when needed and above all bishop's profound stand to protect priests at all cost in crisis will be blessed by god for priests are god's property and inheritance the good fight has been fought by bishop valens mendes for two decades the time for new beginnings has come the journey of the diocese of chilao to its heavenly jerusalem has to continue and we thank god for our new shepherd right reverend doctor Don Vimal Siri Chai Suri Bishop Valens Mendes taking over Kandy Bishop Vimal Siri Chai Suri of our own diocese and Bishop elect Monsignor Wyman Cruz Ratnapura diocese shouldn't we thank our heavenly father as Bishop Valens Mendes has been prepared by God in a wonderful way to take up the undaunted task of leading his flock in Kandy diocese we pray that bishop valens would strive to bind all those peoples in the bonds of charity to open the doors of jesus christ the redeemer 
of the world the joy of every human heart and the fulfillment of all our hopes I'm mm-hmm. 